What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. This is Peter the Pimple. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. All right, so today on the agenda is back. Now we're coming towards the end of the 30 for 30 series where we post every single morning 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't have to pay us any money to follow these workouts. And I've been getting a lot of questions, even though I mention it every single video, can I build muscle with bodyweight training 100%? Follow this program, eat the right foods, make sure you're in a caloric surplus, especially if you want to build and gain some weight and just see where it goes. Also, if you're not drinking and hydrating, how do you think your body can really grow if you're always stressed out, if you're not sleeping? Think about it. So, before we jump into the actual workout, I'm gonna give you a few tips that you could be following not only for this workout, future workouts, let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. Eating fat does not mean adding fat to your body. Fat is an essential macronutrient that directly affects your hormones. If you eat right, you feel right. Number two, when you breathe for each movement, make sure you take a deep breath into your stomach and not just into your chest, then tighten your abs. Number three, I'm geeked right now. The low stim pre-workout from Create You is one naturally flavored beast. Link is in the description. Number four, rest periods during this workout should be 45 seconds to a minute and a half. It's okay if you want longer for as many reps as possible sets. And last but not least, number five, follow me on Instagram, at the B Myers. All right, we're starting off with pull-ups. Now, pronated grip, this is not a chance to pull up. So hands gonna go over here, thumb is gonna be wrapped around the bar, pinky wrapped around, Squeezing as hard as you can right outside the shoulder width apart, okay? These pull-ups, I want you to hold at the top for five to eight seconds, okay? And then come right back down, boom, and then reset. Five to eight seconds. Make sure you're retracting and depressing your scaps. This is the way you should be feeling it with your abs tightened in as much as possible, right? And that is your first set. All right, we are getting pretty difficult with these movements, front lever, Tuck. Now, have you ever seen a front lever? You're basically horizontal to the ground or parallel to the ground. Okay, for this, what we're gonna do is go into a front lever position, which means retract and depress your scaps as much as possible and over pronate on the bar. So as to over pronate here, as you can see, okay? Then you're gonna lift your knees and make sure you're completely flat to the ground, all right? So watch very, very closely. I'm gonna come up here, boom. Now you can see I'm in almost a straight position towards the ground, okay? Now from here, I'm going to raise up and come right back down, all right? If you can only do a couple, that's completely fine. You're gonna be going towards the mid thigh, okay? We don't wanna go too high into the movement, only to mid thigh, right, as so. Now, if it's too hard, go ahead and do inverted rows. That's completely fine, but once you try this out, you're gonna love me. Then we're going straight into, I believe it's pushaways. Yes, 12 ground pushaways from the ground. You guys know what this is. All right, over here, tucking in our chin about one inch away from the ground, coming right out as so, our elbows abducted out our shoulder joint, coming up, squeezing as much as we can in that back, and then come right back down and boom. That's your superset. Okay, here we go. We have chin ups going into a back squeeze. Now, chin ups, as I said, they are not pronated, it is like an inverted grip. Underhand, super dandy. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze at our pinkies. Make sure we're squeezing as much as possible. Thumb squeeze as much as possible. Pushing our elbows together and just coming up as so. Really, really focus on those lats. If you wanna hold for five to eight seconds at the top of each rep as well, you totally can. From there, we're gonna do a back squeeze. All right, now generally, our back squeeze is tucking in our stomach, staying in neutral position, chin suspended, and squeezing as much as we can here, all right? I wanna take it away from more, from the, all the traps and what we're doing there, and a little bit of lats, and try and really engage those lats as much as possible, contract, okay? So instead, I'm gonna extend my elbows, I'm going to tuck in my chin, retract and depress my scaps, all right? Now from here, you see here, watch my arms, they're gonna go into extension of the shoulder joint, and then I'm gonna come in and squeeze as much as possible my lats, all right? So I'm almost pushing down and away while I'm tucking in my stomach, and squeezing, 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 and if you want to, you can even widen them out a little bit more and squeeze back a little bit more, squeezing those, those abs. You're gonna feel those lats really activating like crazy, that's your super set. This set we have inverted rows, and we're gonna be holding for five to eight seconds. All right, so 
Just that so very, very simple. Retract and press our scaps. So important. I don't want you to miss out on that. Squeeze in your neck. Sorry, squeeze in your neck. Squeeze in your abs. Tightening your abs. All right, retract to press. Got suspended neck coming up. Pausing. Five to eight seconds or 10 seconds if you would like. Then come right back down and reset and continue on. Make sure you're following the technique perfectly. If you feel like it's a little bit too hard, bend your knees, you'll be just fine. Ending this workout is as many reps as possible, wide grip pull-ups, two sets, okay? So with these wide grip pull-ups, I just wanna make sure that you're going wide enough. This time we're gonna go super, super wide, as wide as you can on your pull-up bar, okay? From here, we wanna make sure our pinky isn't dropping down and also our thumb isn't off the bar. You wanna utilize as much as possible, squeeze as much as possible. Now, here, you again, wanna make sure you're retracting and depressing those scaps so you're really loading and staying safe that shoulder joint and putting a lot of stress not a lot of stress, but a lot of contraction through those lats, so it's controlling you as much as possible. From here, I don't want you to overextend because it's a wide grip pull-up. I want you to squeeze in your abs as much as possible. When you come up, think about driving your elbows towards your chest as so, okay? So, drive towards my chest, boom, right around your nose, and coming right back down. Remember, holding at the top for five to eight seconds if you would like. If not, just do as many reps as possible. And that's your workout. All right, so there you have it. That is your 30 for 30 workout for the day. If you wanna pick up any nutritional products, pre-workout, greens, creatine, all the stuff that I take, link is always in the description. I'm not just saying, hey, go buy it. It's because it's high quality and super affordable, and I'm very, very serious about what I put in my body, and that's why we kind of started Creating Nutrition with all of these other partners. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, at the B Myers, my vlog series is also starting here very, very soon. I'm prepping for my second ever bodybuilding competition, and I'm just excited. Look, you can build muscle in so many different ways. Once you understand the human body, biomechanics, kinesiology, you'll understand that it's a lot less complicated than people make it. And so stay focused, learn for yourself, test things, but just keep in mind, it's simple. It's not crazy. Eat good, rest, drink some water, <laughs> and you'll be good to go. All right, I'm Brendan. This is the 30 for 30 series. This is the back workout. I'll see you next time. Peace.